So guys, I wanted to keep this reality TV, but uh, it has gotten too technical, so might as well. All right, so this is how I will check in my code in real life, in official uh, environments. So this is my starting point, 100 always, then 00 are my configuration files that, that 100 needs. And then rest is self-explanatory. Uh, so our executing shell uh, dot profile because my Mac is stupid dot DSHRC making sure uh, you have received the input that you need after that all the variables create the firewall this won't get created so this is something I would put with the if condition if that firewall exists don't create it our VM creation script and the bootstrap script, like this is very critical. The rest of this stuff is uh, any child can do it, but this part is where a DevOps engineer would shine, all right? Uh, and then rest of this stuff I have just commented because this is still from my uh, testing and this won't go into production, but I'm gonna keep it there. Um, and the next file we have, oh, okay, we have to go to the bootstrap. So once that script executes, then this script is going to execute on the server. Okay, I'm passing the bucket name here because all my variables are in, where is it? Oh, right here, sorry. So all my variables are in this file, but that gets copied here. So I'm gonna have to give the bucket name beforehand. And once the files are copied, it's first going to execute the bootstrap.var, then it's gonna install the lamp stack, then it's gonna install the bootstrap.sh. All right, so bootstrap.var, uh, VM name is equal to host name. So technically I did not, you always find something okay so I don't need to pass the PM there because I'm uh, getting it directly in this file and then rest of the variables here it is spelled localhost now not LCOL installing the lamp stack we are installing the exact versions and not just Apache 2 and not PHP but a specific version, so it keeps working no matter what. And then we do basically the initial setup. Which is basically, uh, you're going to set password for root by default it doesn't have a root password uh, you're going to delete any entries that allow the root user from local host without a password then any anonymous users and anything that says test so that's basically just security securing the uh, MySQL database, I don't really need to restart Apache here, but it's not going to make any difference. Okay, now third one is, once again, I am sourcing the bootstrap where installing stuff. Uh, and here I am not using specific versions. Not using specific versions because I am lazy and it's just a demo. But dear students, this is bad practice. Okay, next thing, we're gonna create a user for WordPress. Okay. Uh, and this I was sorry I was really really mad because this is, wasn't working now that's the reality TV show part uh, you would usually when you get completely frustrated you will remember this when you are naming your variables 
all kinds of inappropriate things. But like I said, I'm going to keep it as it was. So now there are no comments here. Need comments. Okay, but once again, I want to finish this training because I'm broke as a joke. Anyway, so all of this is good to go. And that's, oh, the config files. So these are config files that I have edited. These can be edited on the fly using a tool like SCD, but I don't really want to write Basically guys, keep things simple. If you're changing three lines and it doesn't need to have a fancy script, don't use a fancy script. But you are going to get into trouble because this is a reality TV show. When I went uh, to Google for my interview, so I kind of had an idea that they like to interview people on Perl. And I told the guy, I learned Perl in the last three days. Uh, and I know how their interview goes. Oh, and I knew, well, how I knew the inner working, let's not get into that. But the guy kept asking me, how do you do this more efficiently? How do you do this more efficiently? And I'm like, dude, I have gone to the disk block level to optimize stuff where it was required. But I had to do research. I don't carry that knowledge in my head. Uh, but he just kept asking me over and over. Finally, I got fed up and that's my problem that I just snap and I, like I just told him, no, I don't know. I, I could have made up something, but like, it's, like I keep saying, I have 18 years of experience. Uh, it is when like two years ago I gave that interview and I'm like, I don't have to put up with this nonsense. So this can be done using a very, very, very complex way, but keep things simple. Uh, and this is how good solutions are delivered. Okay, you won't be. And the thing is, like, you know, all that flop soft talk people do, at the end of the day, if you can't deliver good solutions, all that talk doesn't help. Okay, so people who are in big positions are usually people who can bullshit a lot. Uh, and also get uh, like a pretty good kind of work done. But if you know what you're doing, uh, trust me guys, people will chase you down the streets to work for, work for them. And that comes from working simplistically and efficiently. All right, so these are the three files that I am going to put in and let's just execute it. So once again, like I said, I am very lazy. So this also I have put in a script. Uh, all the changes that I'm making right now will go uh, into the bucket right here and then it's going to execute that inner script. And then it also is going to log me in to that particular machine. So PWD, I don't know what the... I need to get here, copy path. So exact dot sh demo gods. Okay, I'd like my demos always fail. So I'm going to fast forward through this. Uh, I did not remove the firewall creation part. Uh, that's the machine created. And this is the IP that I'm going to need. To see if that application is up. So part of doing it this way uh, I'm basically doing everything that needs to be done for this WordPress stack in the Bootstrap script. And this was to illustrate uh, 
the life cycle off of BM and this is going to take a while to get ready so let me see if I can find that slide. Okay guys so the Apache is up and I also have installed this software which keeps refreshing this page so I don't have to keep track of okay so it's was not able to SSH into that machine but we don't have to unless this fails Okay, so now the Apache install part is done. Now it's installing WordPress and when the WordPress is installed, this page should go to WordPress. Okay, there we go. So, uh, and like this is how our solution should be. You execute one script and it takes you all the way to the end. But once again, I need to work on the optimization part. Uh, so we got done with this. We got done with this. We don't have any monitoring setup. We don't have, like in this case, security is a much bigger pain. So I'm not going to do it with this because WordPress application, guys, you don't really uh, need to care about security. But the J2E project that I'm going to do Similar video, less rambling, less reality TV that would have focus on security. Then cost, we haven't done. SLAs, we have not. High availability, we haven't done any of this. Yeah. But I'm going to end this training here except for one thing. Okay, guys, so this is part of another training, uh, which hopefully I can finish. Anyway, so base AMI from Amazon, uh, in our case, base AMI from Google. And then you can install uh, as much software you can on the base AMI itself, which is basically called pre-building the AMI or pre-baked AMI. And so if we had installed all the software in the AMI itself, it's going to start up really fast. But if we install the software on the AMI, then you cannot on the fly change the versions. Like basically, uh, you're going to have to change the base AMI to be able to release a different version, which is the standard practice. But just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea what would be the difference. And that part I would add uh, once I get this done, which I don't know when it's going to happen. So guys, that's all for this training. Thank you so much. If you stuck with me all the way to the end uh, and wish you all the best.